Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions. Jim, what's the best way to teach young people to defend their faith? Okay, well, I think the first thing you gotta do is you gotta stop teaching. And I say this around the country and it, and it kind of raises an eyebrow, but I don't mean it in the way I, I'm saying it, I guess. Heretic? Well, yeah, exactly. I sound like a heretic. But what I mean is we've had great teachers and we see that this attrition rate of young people leaving the church continues to climb. And so uh, centuries of good teachers, decades recently of great teachers, yet we still have a problem with young people leaving the church. Yeah. Well, I think part of it is we have to shift from a model that is teaching to training. And although this might sound similar, they're really not. Uh, training is teaching or preparation prior to a battle. So like fighters, they train prior to a fight. And in the weeks between fights, they might get out of shape and gain some weight. But then they sign a contract that they're going to be uh, fighting some guy in, in 18 weeks or fighting someone in 18 weeks. And by the time of the eve of the fight, they're in the best shape of their lives because they know they have a battle coming. So this preparation for that battle turns all that time into training time. Well, the same thing could happen for us with young people. I think that what we have to do is schedule those challenges as the church, as pastoral leadership, as youth pastors, that turns the teaching into training because that teaching is about to be tested. We started doing this to teach theology to our young people by taking trips to Salt Lake City. We knew that if we got on the streets of Salt Lake City and evangelized Mormons with the gospel of Jesus Christ, we knew we were going to have to know our theology really well because they've slightly twisted all those key words. And so that was the challenge that turned eight weeks of what we could have just been teaching into really intensive training because we're on the eve of the battle. We did the same thing taking students to Salt to uh, Berkeley, the University of California at Berkeley. A rather hostile environment it can be for Christians, a lot of atheist groups on campus. So the eight weeks of preparation prior to that one week missions trip at UC Berkeley became training when it could have just been eight weeks of lessons about atheism. No, no, no. We are preparing for the challenge you're about to face. So I think that you can change everything not by looking at what you're, as a pastor, looking at what you, you know and increasing your knowledge, but you can change everything with just your calendar. Set the challenge, teach to the challenge, you've now turned teaching into training. Good.